Hi friends, I'm on a bike ride. Sorry. Um, I just got called a faggot for helping an elderly woman across the street. The timing of this is profound. <laughs> so, I was going from Williamsburg to Manhattan on the Williamsburg Bridge. All across the bridge, I was thinking about selfishness and about, um, uh, that was Cooper. Uh, um, um, that was, that was, uh, that was a celebrity. Who the fuck was in, who was in Star is Born with Lady Gaga? He directed it. Ooh! Um, anyways. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm thinking about ego. <laughs> I'm thinking about ego and about selfishness and about unawareness and how frustrated New Yorkers are making me. Like you chose the most condensed city to be in and then shut your eyes. Like if you are a New Yorker, open your eyes. Put your phone away when you're walking. Look up, Bradley Cooper. I just passed Bradley Cooper on the street. If you are a driver, Look out for people on bikes. Look out for humans. Look out for life. Especially in a place that is so fucking condensed. Pay the fuck attention. Why would we ever, in the most energetically unaware time to be living in, would we put people on motorized modes of transportation with no protection whatsoever? Those mopeds? Those Vespas? Those biddly bobbles? Whatever the wheels are that just go? <laughs> stupid so stupid the unawareness in this city in this country in this world right now is baboonery it is so fatiguing it is so fatiguing to be somebody who is aware in a world of unawareness I'm thinking about all that and I get to this block and I'm watching this old woman with her cart just trying to get to the hashtag grocery. A beautiful, beautiful little Asian woman. She was overwhelmed with how many people. It was very, very, very busy. It was a very busy street. And no one was like allowing her space to walk. The way that it worked is I, I chose the wrong spot. <laughs> I acknowledge that. I chose the wrong spot. I, the way that it went was me, bike, woman, and then oncoming traffic. So I should have gone in between the woman and the oncoming traffic. Okay, acknowledgement received, done and done, yes. So the light changes and now it's green for the oncoming traffic. The guy is like, revs right up real close and starts honking and screaming. And I put my hand out and I'm like energetically and physically like protecting this woman and I start screaming back. I was like, stop, 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 stop. And then it became like, stop, stop with your impatience. Stop with your toxic masculinity. Stop, stop. And it like, it just, I was like umbrellaing over this woman. <laughs> she was so, she was, she was, yeah. It was so chaotic. And other people started screaming too, and, and it was just like, it was so much. And then we finally get to the, the other side of the street and he pulls up, slows down and starts screaming at me. Go to hell, you fucking faggot. What the fuck is your fucking problem, you fucking faggot? Fuck. And I was like, go, go, just go. That's what you wanted. You wanted to go, so go. Stop, 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 stop. And then instantly this other woman it like appears in front of me and was like, no good deed goes unpunished. And I was like, uh-huh, uh yeah, okay. And then I looked at the old woman and she was just like, She was so thankful, but so like, what, what? And 
she was okay and and great and then I like went on my way and this huge uh, truck slowed down and started honking at me and gave me a thumbs up <laughs> what, is, what is happening what is happening right now like I had meditative music I had like chakra alignment meditation music happening so all of this was happening with like a a drone underscore and the song ends and my body starts convulsing and I like break down and then um, Tori Gresham texts me and says I'm starting to feel my wings I'm starting to feel my wings And I just, I just lost it. The unawareness is profound. The energy that we are stepping into is polarizing in a way that we have not known before. We have known an energy of give and pull, of journeying separately, of ebb and flow. We have not known an energy of movement and stop. There is an energy of stop happening right now. And it is... I can't tell you to stop. I can only stop myself. I can't force you to stop because I do not have power over you. You possess your own power, your own choice, so therefore you have to choose to stop on your own. We all have something that needs to stop. We all have something inside of us that must end. You want to be a part of changing the collective. You want to be a part of divine transformation. You want to be a social justice warrior. You want to you want to be a healer you want to change the world you want to make an impact you want to make something of yourself then you need to figure out what you need to stop within you so that you can inspire others to do the same So after that, I continued on my bike ride three more hours and I did a lot more processing. A lot more processing of the whole situation, the whole moment. Let us not forget that this happened after I was running my mind, getting all worked up, getting all frustrated about how unaware the collective was. Let's talk about, let's just have this be an example of quick manifestation. Your thoughts do have power. Think about what you're ingesting, think about what you're clocking, think about what you're thinking about. Second, I don't care that he called me a faggot. In the moment, I was like, yes, you are correct. Thank you for identifying me. Now go. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not upset about the, the identification. What upsets me the most and hurts the most is the fact that his first reaction to love was rage. When experiences happen, you have a story to tell. When you find the strength to tell your story, other people listen and ingest it and take it in. When other people ingest somebody else's story, 
they either have the choice to let that become their moment and just forget about it and go about their day, or they can ingest a story and be inspired to create their own story. Let this be a moment for you to go experience something. Let this be a moment for you to clock your rage, to figure out what needs to end so that you can put action towards grounding in a correct way. What did you identify with most in this story? The person trying to help, the person trying to get across the street, the person with rage, or the person from across the fucking country that texted me in a moment of intuition saying, I am thriving because of your influence in my life. That's why I keep saying timing is profound. Are you the woman that was like, no good deed goes unpunished? Or are you the guy in the car that's like, honk, honk, I'm just a witness cheering you on? Who are you in that story? Who are you in that moment? If you're doing divine reflection, then you'll find a little piece of you in every single moment because, hey, guess what? We're all connected and we all have a broken heart right now. We're all fucking pissed. We're all fucking tired and we're all raging. There is a reason why the world is on fire right now because it's visible. Our rage is visible. Y'all, the health of your roots are, it, it determines the health of your tree. Meditation on your childhood, meditation on your roots, meditation on your family, meditation on your, on your conscious known moments. we affect the world. When we do this, we inspire change. When we do this, we closure. When we do this, we end cycles and we start anew. What is trying to end for you so that you can start anew? You are so loved and you could not be more special. You are so loved, and you could not be more special. Hey, you are so loved. Go tell your story. Please, I want to hear it. Okay, go tell your story.